Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a new calendar table or in a way any table where you can add multiple columns using add columns function. So here uh, the topic is how we will going to create a co calendar column with the help of the existing uh, with the existing field like order date you know from the sample superstore data something which I have been using. So with the help of that how we can add this and uh, create a new columns using add columns function. And before that just a quick information about this Google Sheet. This Google Sheet is the place where I keep all of my Power BI video. So you can see all of my videos here and some exercise related videos over here. And the link is present in column B. So with the help of these links you can directly jump to the video. So you don't have to search all across these through 200 plus videos which you know problematic if you go on the YouTube and try to fit on my channel and try to figure out a particular one. So the link will be present in the description right and you can access it from there. All right let's go to the Power BI. So in the Power BI what do we have is this sheet one which is nothing if I go over here in the data section this is nothing but your sample superstore data uh, where you have information like order date when it was shipped so on and so forth customer geography product information you know basic information which usually you will find very commonly in every company okay and what do we want to do is we want to create a new function with the help of the order or a new table with the help of the order date function so for that what we will going to do is we will go and click on the new table function and uh, let's give it a name as date and we will say date equals to and press alt enter and we will say variable a equals to and here we need to specify the order the sample superstore order uh, the order date value which is minimum and maximum of order date to get the range and this will make it dynamic as well because what it will do is whenever the data set is changing for order dates it will going to the date will going to take that impact. So what do I mean by that is we will first specify the calendar. It will ask us the start date which is the minimum of order date right. Minimum of order date will not going to change right because that's where it got started but end date will going to change as and when more transaction is coming. So we will choose max of order date and close this press alt enter and now we will use the uh, return statement because when we specify the variable we need to return that so we need in the return we will going to use something which is called as add columns and we will say a a is nothing but this table which is being created and then the name we will first give it a name as year and we will use the function year and date right date is this one which it will be created once the table will be created so that's the benefit about it i mean you don't see it a date has been created but still you can use it right year um, then we have what month so we will write the month as a name and then within the expression month as state right and then what we have is the day right and then we will say day date now we will going to write something as formatted month right so we will say month name right and we will say format value is what we have date and the formatting is mmn right so this is an additional piece so this way the more the more and more formatting that you need you can add it over here um, we will let's say add uh, year month something you know common year month and we will say format the date then year is nothing but your y y y y right m percent double quotation hyphen sign double quotation close again m percent and then we will say format date right and then for the formatting m m m 
So just wanted to show you like how many different uh, ways in which you know you may want to do it because of your reporting requirement. Okay. So once we have this, we will click on this and we have our table present here, right? So Jan uh, is basically the month and we specified this MM, right? And uh, so it's a three letter word. We have day, we have month and even we have year month. If you want to change it, you know, we just need to come over here. We say a month year instead of year month. If you want to do it, we can change like this over here. It's quite simple now. You can see MMM and over here you can change. So just wanted to show you like how easy and straightforward it is to create the connection, the create the change. So similar to this, if your organization has any requirement where you want to keep more columns because of your reporting needs, you can do that, right? On top of that, you can actually create the, um, the, the join, right? So order date and uh, ship date, right? So you can bring this over here and you will see that this is how the connection has been made over here between order date and date. And that way it becomes quite straightforward uh, that you can use all the dates and it will be beneficial. So think about this transaction probably may not be present for all the dates, right? So if you want to know any, each and every date which in which transaction has happened, let's say from 1st Jan 2020 to um, to first August to 31st August 2022, then you can do that with the help of this. So with that information, you can create a table like this and uh, perform your date related queries. So that's what I wanted to show you the feature of add column function, right? The more you can add more and more columns as you need uh, in, in your table and make it reporting ready. All right, with that information, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.